Okay, hello and welcome. It is Saturday and we're going to be doing um, the uh, clitters today. So um, we're going to start off with a prayer. Um, Father, be present with us so that we can retain the information that is coming through and um, use it for our best and highest good. And thank you for everything that you do, Father. Amen. Okay, so um, we're going to start with clairvoyance. The definition of clairvoyance is clear seeing. Clairvoyance is clear seeing. So I wanted to um, let you know, um, in my business, which I am a psychic medium, and I I use the clairvoyance um, to see things, to give readings to people who are like wanting to get in contact with a deceased loved one or um, if they want to see future events for themselves, and that's what I do. Also, you can use clairvoyance for remote viewing. Um, also, pat the past, you can see a past life with someone um, by using the clairvoyance. And the clairvoyance is here in your mind's eye, and that's where you will see clear pictures. Some people see pictures kind of like in a slow motion movie and on occasion that's the way I get it like a black and white slow motion movie where it's kind of like picture frame after picture frame it kind of choo -choo -choo just goes by it comes through really really fast so being a psychic medium you really have to grasp on to um, the information that's coming through because it doesn't last very long um, also when I when I'm giving a reading, I see, like, you know, I'll see their, a person's clothing, um, what their physical body looked like while they were here on the earth plane in, in the physical. Um, I'll see a motorcycle or a bicycle or a house or a tree or something pertaining to the person I'm um, connecting to um, in the spirit world who's passed over, crossed over. Also, um, <clears throat> if I'm giving a reading to someone and it's a psychic reading and they're asking about their future, then I'll see clear pictures of what their future might look like because we do have free will. So if we make a left turn and we were supposed to go right from what I was seeing, then it'll be a totally different outcome. So I, that's what I wanted to talk to you about um, clairvoyant. That's the first one. Of the clairs that we all are intuitive we all have these abilities some of us more than others some haven't blocked them out since birth and um, some we could just we learn we could learn them again because we were born with them so um yeah the next one is clear audience clear audience is a clear hearing of the spiritual realm so you can hear other dimensions, you can hear other um, beings that are not from this planet. You can hear um, people who are crossed over, um, spiritual beings, you know, who are here to help us, ascended masters. Um, Jesus was a uh, clear on and he heard, he was a clear hearer. And um, quite a few other ones, um, they actually have a group that you can join if you are clear audience or audience if you have clear audience because some people you know some people do have um, you know something wrong with their brain but nevertheless they're still getting incoming information that's not from them if they can discern if it's a man child woman um, you know female male I'm like whatever um, then they are highly clairvoyance or clair, clair audience. I'm sorry. So I am clair audience um, or clair audience. I do hear the spiritual realm. I do hear clear voice. I can tell if it's a female, a male, a child, um, a young adult. And um, sometimes I do get visuals on the spiritual people who are communicating with me or if they're from, you know, another time or if they are from another planet, actually. So I do get that as well. Um, also, Claire Audience will come through to you in a song or um, a thought, or someone might just walk up to you and 
you know, say something random that, you know, means significantly means something to you. Like, you know, like a comfort food. You might have just been thinking about, you know, your grandmother who used to make you, you know, yummy hot chocolate or whatever. And some random person, you know, just comes up to you and says, hey, you know what? I was just getting a craving for hot chocolate. Well, that was that spiritual person giving them that message for you, that they heard you or they know that you were thinking about them. So that's also part of the clear audience, like that would fall under clear audience. Okay, um, if we're gonna move on to clairsentience. Clairsentience. Um, I would have to say clairsentience falls under the empathic or an empath, which is a clear filler, somebody who collects everybody's energy, who fills other people around them, who has a good sense of like a, a place, like if something bad happened in a place, they, you know, empathic or clairsentient people would walk into that place and feel really bad. Like they would, you know, their stomach would hurt or, you know, they would feel sick or they would feel like, you know, if something burned, they would feel like they were on fire, like things like that. So that is what clairsentient is. And also that would go along with highly sensitive, sensitive people, which is S or HSP. If you are a highly sensitive person, then you are sensitive to everything around you, which is very hard for you to be in a group around a lot of people, at a fair, um, you know, any, a, a flea market or, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, that, that would be that you, you would need to protect yourself before you would go around all of these different people and their feelings and everything else. Is you want to be protected and not collect all of their garbage basically so um that's oh yeah and also a gut feeling like the um clairsentient would be like your guts like i i my gut feeling tells me this you know like i don't really feel right about that or i don't want to go in that car with that person because i'm not feeling right about it so always listen to that and that's your clear feeling um letting you know that you know this is this is not right so that's part of also the clair and moving on, um, Claire Essence and Clairofaction. Clairofaction and Claire Essence is the same, different words, same meaning, um, and it's smelling. <clears throat> like sometimes when you're thinking about angels or um, Mother Mary, the Virgin Mary, um, Jesus, you're always the saints. Like you'll smell roses, and then roses will be around you. Or if you have like a, a deceased loved one who's crossed over to the other side, they might come around you and then you'll smell their perfume. Or like me, when my aunt comes around me, I smell cigarettes because she was a heavy, heavy smoker and a coffee drinker. And my father as well, he was a smoker. So when they come around me, I know they're around me because I feel them. And I also can smell their cigarette smoke. And, so that, that would be um, clarescence and clarofaction because you're using this clair, the nose, the smelling. Also, um, I wanted to get into a little bit about psychometry. And psychometry is where you would hold something of someone, see, because I wear this all the time. So if someone was giving me a psychic reading, um, they would hold this in their hand and then they would get um, the vibration of me because it has my essence on this bracelet because I wear this. So they would be able to give me um, a good reading. Also, I wanted to um, talk to you about stones that goes along with your clairs. Like there's different crystals that you can use if you're trying to enhance or you're working on one of your clairs. If you wanna be more clairaudient, you would use a, a, a certain stone. If you wanted to be clairvoyant, you would use a certain stone. But for me, when I give readings, I hold this um, quartz, a tourmalated quartz. And um, this is, um, oh man, I forget. I'm so sorry. Anyhow, but this is tourmalated quartz. And um, it has titanium. There you go. Thank you very much for my spiritual team. I just heard titanium. So um, this is titanium in there, and it helps me 
to give you an accurate reading because it'll raise my vibration. So that's what I use. And I also use amethyst as well. And here is natural formed amethyst. Thank you to my daughter Debbie for that one. And also I'll use, I'll put a bracelet on when I'm giving readings for my clairvoyance. And here's, um, you know, a necklace, amethyst necklace, or you can hold an amethyst ball. And then here's the amethyst in your hand. And that will help you um, open up your mind's eye to see the spiritual realm and give a very accurate reading. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. I hope it was um, full of information for you. And I would suggest that you um, do your research, look, read, um, do as much as you can to enhance your abilities. The planet Earth is beginning to raise the vibration. We need to raise our vibration. We need to know that we're eternal spiritual beings here having this human experience. And we want to have the best experience that we can. And God wants us to do that. He wants us to have a good life and good experiences. So I would, I would encourage you to do more research on your clairs because we were born with them. Those are ours. Okay? Well, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me. Blessings of love and light. And I will see you next Sunday. And on Wednesday, I'll give you an update on YouTube. I mean, on Facebook, sorry. On Facebook, so what we're, we will be studying on um, next week. All right? All right. Bye.